Yeah, what's going on guys, Eagle Precursor here. Today I'm bringing you another infection tutorial video. This is how to be a good zombie. In this video I'm going to be explaining key playstyles, strategies and routes that you can use to improve your skills as a zombie. But please note, there's not really one size fits all for this. It's not as simple as camping in a spot as last man and holding out a position. It's more about choosing your battles and choosing the correct playstyles for a given situation. Uh, before I get into the video, thank you so much guys for the support recently and new subscribers like 102 days and cheers for the guy who hit the cavil in infection. I'm not going to say anything more about that so let's get right into the video. Really quickly I want to highlight the different lunge ranges that you can do as a zombie. So when you descope, you won't really lunge that far. However when you are scoped in, you can lunge really far. So the first playstyle we're going to be going over is aggressive, and this is my favourite way to play as a zombie. Being aggressive is all about being fast paced, and I've come up with four main key strategies about how to play as an aggressive zombie. First of all, usage of first pack and the scope sword. Second of all, hovering, which is where I use the scope sword and auto stabilise to try and get a lunge from far away. Thirdly, maintaining pressure and trying to make humans miss shots and choke. And finally, baiting zombies. Now this is a pretty good tactic you can use. If you see a human in a holdout spot and you can't really get him alone, use other people to your advantage. When another zombie will rush in front, prepare a lunge and then lunge straight after the other zombies died, you'll catch the human off guard a lot of the time. So now I have a variety of clips for each of the strategies and I'm going to play them now for you. Survivors remain. Conversion. Two survivors remain. Infector. Conversion. Infector. Conversion. So as well as this I found two pretty nice aggressive routes for the maps. First of all is drill site. This is my, my favourite route in the entire game. You can go over the top of the map and uh, catch people off guard like this. And on Molten or Hellfire one I found was you can jump right through this window and a lot of people will camp on the gunfighter magnum spawn and this is a good way to get them. Now moving on to passive playstyle. This is my least preferred method, but I'm gonna give you a few tips on it anyway. Uh, passive playstyle is all about being crouchy and stealthy and waiting for humans to come to you, that sort of thing. Uh, as you can see in this clip right here, I'm using the radar to my advantage. If you crouch when you're a zombie, you won't appear on radar, and when you're an alpha zombie, you'll basically go invisible and the humans won't be able to aim assist on you. Uh, number two is conservative movement. This basically means moving around areas of the map with low activity, not rushing areas of humans, like as you can see here. Uh, I'm trying to kind of demonstrating it, as I see a lot of humans above me. I'm being conservative with my movement and waiting for them to push up rather than just going straight in as an aggressive player. And number three, holding out key power weapon spawns as an alpha zombie, like here. Well, I'm not actually an alpha zombie here, but just for example, on Molten, you will spawn in the lava room, so a good place to go and camp is by the Prophet's Bane spawn. And all the maps that have key power weapon spawns as an alpha, you want to be holding these out when playing passive, as you'll be able to catch all the humans off guard most of the time. Uh, so I'll let these last two clips roll really quickly, and just take note of how, di how different, how I play differently while being passive. Conversion. Infector. Two minutes left. Conversion. Conversion. 
Three survivors remain. Infector. Double kill. Two survivors remain. Carry. Conversion. Lord of the Fly. So now we're going to put the aggressive and passive tips into practice and try and get a Lord of the Flies medal. Now this is a killing spree as a zombie that's 6 kills in a row without dying. And in my opinion it's pretty luck based as well as like, obviously you need a bit of skill but it's kind of luck based because there's a finite number of humans to infect and a lot of the time you'll get kind of BS trades where you should have killed them but somehow they shot you even though they weren't even looking at you, that kind of thing. So don't be discouraged if you can't get a lot of flies straight away using these tips, just keep trying and you'll eventually uh, be able to get one. I'm just going to play a few of mine here for you guys to show you some examples. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, hope you found it helpful and I hope that you will now be able to go into uh, matchmaking and destroy kids as a zombie like you never knew how to before. So I'm just going to leave you now with this backwards killionaire and uh, see you in the next video guys. Zombie Slayer. Hit the test. One minute left. Double 